for the last few years I have been known as the Humor Life Kendall, but actually I have always felt like Barbie, and now I feel great to get it out there and to be a girl. Being me, Rodrigo Alves, it is a full-time job. It involves a lot of uh, plucking and lasers and bleach and makeup and just my decision making about what to wear today took me like three hours. I've had 60 plastic surgeries, three hair implants, facelift, two brown lips, three eye lifts, 10 nose jobs, cheek implants, lip lift, chin implant, jaw line reshaping. Uh, I have had my ears done twice. I have had my entire body sculpted with the help of plastic surgery. I have the most perfect six pack. Uh, I don't go to the gym or anything, and the six pack is always on. For over the past year, Rodriguez known his love of plastic surgery and body modification. His love of being more into glamour and beauty, which he candidly changes his life into the world where beauty is being transformed. Rodrigo reveals extreme removable surgery in which he never fails to regret and spent a lot of dollars to be in shape and to look more smaller waist. Right, so for those that don't believe that my ribs have been removed for sure, yes, they have. And here is the proof. It does make me feel very queasy touching my own ribs. In fact, I don't like doing this very much. <laughs> so this bit here. Once I was notified that my ribs were going to be incinerated, uh, I just want to take them back home with me. Uh, the doctor said no, but once I was done, I just popped the ribs in my bag. I should not say that, because I don't want to get the doctor in trouble. But the ribs are mine. They belong to me. They are part of my body. And it is my right to have them. I see myself, I have always seen myself as an angel. I don't follow any standards set by society. I follow my fluidity. Why men can't wear makeup? Why men can't wear pink? Why men can't wear a corset? So I can do anything, and I can be anything. So if I can be anything and do anything, so can you. I was trying to get away from the Kendall nickname because that never portrayed the true me. I always felt like Barbie, and that's the truth there. You see now, I have female thoughts. I think like a woman. I act like a woman. Not only because I have always been one deep inside, but that is what the medication do. Uh, at school, I was very much bullied, not only for my appearance, because I was different from other boys, uh, but also because I was very feminine. Uh, on Fridays, we had leisure day at school, and boys would play football, and girls would play volleyball, I would always be with the girls. And for that also, I was very much bullied by the boys. Once something very bad happened to me, at the age of 13, uh, two boys at school sexually abused me, uh, orally abused me. Uh, obviously, I didn't enjoy it and I felt very comfortable, only because I was very feminine and very weak. I couldn't defend myself and I was very traumatic. So next month, I'm having silicone breast implants. I'm having 700 cc of silicone implants, which should make me look much more feminine. 
I'm gonna be able to wear dresses with cleavage and look very sexy. I'm really excited with that. I'm gonna look much more feminine. And after that, I'm having a face feminization surgery. I'm gonna be having an eye lift, lip lift, middle face lift, the removal of my add-on apple. Last month, I had my fake six pack removed and the fat from my back and my abs has been injected into my butt. Give me a uh, rounder uh, butt. And uh, in one year from now, I'm considering having a uh, gender reassignment surgery, which is a penile inversion and the removal of the testicles.